What's up, everybody? It is Marshall here with another Wine Express tasting, a one-armed Wine Express tasting. And this one is very cool. This is Chateau Labour. And this is Omidoc 2010 Cru Bourgeois. So, Omidoc being on the left bank of Bordeaux. And so these are Cabernet Sauvignon driven wines, uh, as this one is. And you'll have to bear with me on the opening of the bottle here. I'm getting better at it though, I gotta tell you. Right, Rob? <laughs> um, 2010. 2010 is one of the best vintages in Bordeaux. I know we, we say that all the time, right? Oh, it's one of the best vintages. But I promise you, this one is really one of the best vintages. Uh, 99 point vintage. It's near perfect from a lot of uh, reviewers. And Cru Bourgeois is a classification that they reclassify every so often. Actually, I think the last time they did was 2010. And it basically is a step down from the Grand Cru Class A. Uh, that, you know, from 1855 classification. However, the quality and the value, the QPR, you know, that I talk about on these wines is generally off the charts. And that is definitely true for this one. So we tasted this sample uh, a few months ago. I haven't had it since. So I love giving it the first, oh, the first sniff test. I love when it smells just as good as it did when we first tasted it. I got a swirl on the table. I can't get my left swirl going at the table just yet. I'll get there. So on first sniff though here, uh, it, it's just there's so much balance just off off the bat because 2010 you got 13, 14 years bottle age, right? So the fruit is there first, black fruit, black cherry, blackberry, but it's aged. Uh, I say aged. It's dried, right? There's like a dehydration factor that comes along with this fruit now, so it's slightly on that raisiny kind of side, but still like really nice baked fruit nose to it. Um, oak for sure, more on the woody, cedary, charred wood kind of thing. Just a little, little, bit of, little bit of smoke. So not detecting a ton of new oak on this. You know, no real like vanilla. Maybe, maybe a dose of clove there. But what's coming out is oh, this beautiful forest floor and this nuttiness, a little bit of a, a hazelnut note. Getting like a pine needles, a little bit of that licorice, a little bit of that eucalyptus. It's super complex. There's so much going on in this nose and very, very intense. This is why you age wine, right? This is the whole purpose of, of having wine. Well, they've done the aging for us because this is a back vintage release, but the tannins are so well integrated and soft and plush and the acidity holds everything together, right? So there's mouth watering going on. There's a little bit of puckering, there's a little bit of dryness, but the fruit is so well developed and those tertiary flavors are holding everything together that it's got this just really complex, sophisticated feel for like a $20 wine. It's crazy. So what this wine is perfect for is if you love those, those Grand Cru Class A aged wines, or you know, those fifth growths that are now really expensive. You know, I, I love them, but you know, they're 50 bucks, 100 bucks, even more sometimes, $20. The Chateau Labour is something that you can open on a Tuesday night, and I'm telling you that the quality, sophistication here on this one is <laughs> really tough to beat at this price. Again, it's a back vintage closeout that we got our hands off. Not a lot of it, so make sure to grab it while you can. Cheers. Enjoy.